David had been anointed by Samuel to become the king. Saul's still alive at this point in time, so Saul is still the king. David has been anointed to, to become the second king, but it's not his time yet. Okay? And so Saul begins to be jealous of David, and he wants to kill him because he realizes that he may very well take over his kingdom, and so he tries, he's trying to get rid of him. And so he's chasing David all through the Judean wilderness, trying to catch him and kill him. With that background of the story, let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 24, and let's see what happens here, beginning in verse number 1. After David returned from, or excuse me, after Saul returned from pursuing the Philistines, he was told David is in the desert of En Gedi. So Saul took 3,000 able young men from all Israel and set out to look for David and his men near the crags of the wild goats. He came to the sheep pens along the way. A cave was there, and Saul went in to relieve himself. David and his men were far back in the cave. So here's the deal. David's running in the wilderness, out in the Judean wilderness, all kind of caves out there. If you've ever been to Israel, you know how that part of the, the, the country is. And so he, David has gone back into a cave with his men. He's hiding to, from Saul. And Saul happens to come in to the same cave where David and some of his men are hiding. Now, Saul doesn't know that David is back there. Okay, got it? Okay, let's see what happens next. The men said... This is the day the Lord spoke of when he said to you, I will give your enemy into your hands for you to deal with as as you wish. Then David crept up unnoticed and cut off a corner of Saul's robe. So here they are. Saul is there doing his business. And we find David in the background and his men say, David, this is your moment. Don't you realize God has set this up? Holy Ghost is here. Okay, Go get him and kill him and it will all be over with. This has got to be a God moment, David. And so the men are trying to convince him to to kill Saul. Had he killed Saul, it would have been a fast track to the kingdom. At least that's what they thought it would be. So David was tempted. He goes up behind Saul without Saul knowing he's there and cuts off a piece of his robe, which indicates the fact that David had a knife in his hands. Take a look now at verse 5. Afterward, David was conscience-stricken for having cut off a corner of his robe, Saul's robe. He said to his men, The Lord forbid that I should do such a thing to my master, the Lord's anointed, or lay my hand on him, for he is the anointed of the Lord. With these words, David sharply rebuked his men and did not allow them to attack Saul, and Saul left the cave and went his way. There was a moment in David's life where he could have taken a shortcut. What looked like a shortcut to becoming king, but David said, nope, not going to do it. And there in that moment, David passed a test. 